Hello, my name is Anne, and today I'm going to uh, present a program for your Windows laptop uh, that you might be interested in, uh, and this is uh, called Syscog. And what this does, and what this does is it will be a um, monitor for your laptop. Uh, or your Windows device. So this is actually a pretty interesting little program to you, and I found myself um, pretty fun using uh, the Cisco here, which is used to uh, monitor your CPU, GPU, memory, battery, uh, your computer hardware, and it kind of helps you uh, identify uh, the problems and issues with your laptop that you. Uh, may aware be may be aware in the future. So uh, before I jump into the uh, program itself, let's go ahead and see the syscog, uh, dot com and where uh, should you download? It's completely free and uh, there is no. Um, this is syscog dot com right here, and it's there. There isn't any a uh, Mac versions. There only Windows only, uh, but it's actually very good and it's free. You can see, and it uh, supports from Windows XP all the way to Windows 10 and Windows Server 2003 to 2016. So it supports both 32 and 64 bit as well. So um, it's a pretty wide choice here, and you can actually uh, choose between a uh, set up a straight setup or a portable download that you want and just click on the download right here and it should be a uh, download the thing but I have already downloaded so I'm just going to uh, jump to the um, program itself okay okay so uh, let's go ahead and launch to start and see what we have in the user interface so uh, this is the main uh, UI of syscog and you can see that in the in front of UI there are two charts uh, the first chart is used to count uh, the hardware recurrent and the hard your hardware last minute uh, so they are so it's going to count uh, the CPU usage right but you can actually count some other thing as well for example in the down here we do have the counts and we have the memory usage uh, the CPU usage for example uh, you see you only takes 13 percent only work uh, 12 percent so uh, that is you get to know that it only works that much in the memory usage look at right here you can see that it took 37 percent which means that our RAM has uh, worked on 37 percent and we still have 63 percent left uh, as uh, as used as free and you can have other, other things as well other counter which is the this space usage we use to count how much uh, store you have left for example right now uh, you can see the current the live right here, the average minimum maximum uh, counters right here is live it's right here and you have to click and you can see we do have the, this here is the last minute and it will update the most every time uh, and it don't, don't need to have any click and we have some other accounts which is a disk activity for example this transfer rate network transfer rate and file system data IOPS now uh, the count doesn't stop here because you can actually uh, add some other candles as well but first let's take a look at some of the options for some pause here right if you don't want to, to count again you can pause it and when you want to want to continue just tell on resume and it will continue doing the work for example reset right and we set the whole uh, figure you can do that um, analyze so if you go to analyze you can tell a later so uh, profiles of course you can uh, add a profile, delete them, copy one, layout, up, can add so the layout can actually uh, change which appears on the UI for example shows counter, chart and gawk or you can choose show counter list and history, counter and all charts, counter and all gods, all counters, gods and charts 
and show kind of list only right and you can actually save uh, the report as well and you can save it as PDF like PDF HTML uh, Excel text CSV XML report whatever you want okay and you can actually send it directly to your uh, computer expert even that's going to be very, very nice very, very helpful you want to see what is the problem with uh, our Windows device so go back to the calendar and you can see that we can as I said we can add the calendars not just these kind of calendars you can add more and in this uh, UI here we do have the old calendars which includes some CPU usage memory this network and some other things as far as file system and process as well it's nice you can actually add like for example the CPU usage there are four CPU 0, 1, 2, and 3 for example you want to see um, how CPU 3 working just need to click on here CPU 3 and click on the add right here and it will show you how the CPU 3 is working okay so again, uh, and one of the great things about calendars is that you can actually add a process. Uh, either the process is you already familiar. You go to task manager, you go process here. As you can see, this is these are the progress, right? The processes. There are the um, uh, smaller parts of the programs that you have on your computer. Right, you do different things, the iTunes helper, and you can actually still monitor them as well by using the Syscard program. So just by go tap click on the process status and in the process CPU usage, there are processes that uh, of different apps that is work that is live right now that you can click you can choose it for example we do have uh, see what she's working it's gonna have just gonna take let's say syscar for example syscau and click add you, you want to monitor the, this program for example if you want to see does the syscar program take too much you can actually do that as well by searching syscar and click on add Right? and once they, they will be added to the counter list on uh, the bottom right here right it says process CPU usage it says syscar which is this one right here and it looks like it only takes around five to six percent of your CPU usage so if you're having a lower device or uh, even a truly slow uh, Windows laptop this uh, this program will not uh, let you down right it will not slow your device down it only takes around two to five percent of your uh, process CPU usage and lastly what I want to talk about here is the analyze now this will analyze your whole system your whole computer your hardware your software check almost everything okay you check your status see if they are good they are bad they are warning they need words and they will have results okay so there it says there are two arrows and four warning right and you can see that we do have the lights do have the color you see it's green which is uh, good yellow which is warning red it is uh, errors okay so as you can see that we do have first of all the counters look at the CPU they're good they're excellent look at the here see that's good that would be nice for example this right the this I consume almost all the storage you can see I got 13.7 gig left and in my disk it says warning free this space this space is low it's only 13 gig free for example right for example other thing is just this SVC hose now I don't know what that is but it seems to have an error and uh, this still one thing is that it does not uh, tell us what the ex error the error specifically really is so that's a bit of a letdown here and uh, other things you want to you know 
see you can actually still save this post as text excel pdf or html as well okay okay so that is the whole syscog program and this is the one of the um, monitor that i would really recommend uh, for both low-end devices to even a really expensive laptop because you already know you have if you own an expensive laptop you need to take special care of it right so that's basically my video covering the syscod program and uh, i hope you found this video useful and uh, make sure to comment like subscribe down below and i'll see you next time goodbye